I'm Connor, and this is a story about Pokemon. I, I don't have a Pokemon. This was the best I could do. This could be a Pokemon. 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 Can I be a Pokemon? No! If you couldn't tell, this video has a pretty simple premise. Pokemon ideas I've had. I've done some doodles, I've drawn some guys, I... Uh, yo, Connor here. Uh, just came to interrupt and say, none of the art in this video was done by me. All of it was drawn by the wonderfully talented Kuroniko Palette slash Color Galaxia. Uh, check out her stuff in the description below. I'll be sure to link uh, all her stuff. So, yeah. So I... Yeah, I ruined the pace of the joke, but yeah, got my finger stuck in a blender and I even left my room. Why is it so bright out here? Starting off, this first Pokemon is what I'm calling M Magna Ray. Yeah, Magna Ray. I, uh, I'm not great at names. Basically, this Pokemon has several floating limbs and focuses on controlling them with magnetic powers. Or even telekinesis. Not really sure which would be better. Magna Ray would be a small, steel psychic type Pokemon. Brilliant! Ooh, I really like this one. It's a ghost dark type, or even psychic? I'm not really sure. Basically, it hides behind this little mirror it has, and it has a large focus on redirecting attacks back at the opponent. Barrier, reflect, those types of moves. Trapping and laying the smack down would be a super big focus of this guy. Let's name him... Uh... Miro Mode. Yeah, Miro Mode. Sure. Man, this video's coming along really well. It'd honestly be a shame if someone were to make me shove something in the middle randomly. I just really like this idea for a Pokemon, okay? A 300 foot tall Pokemon that looks like a Colossus? That sounds awesome! It'd probably be like dark or even fighting. Call it, I don't know, Galargos? Ooh, what if it was even like an Eldritch Horror? That sounds so fing cool. It might even use Wailord as the largest Pokemon in existence. Yes! Cthulhu the Pokemon. I'm sure that's appropriate for kids. Just like the Pokemon that lures out children. Or the Pokemon that eats people's souls. Or the Pokemon that eats children's dreams because they're tastier. Drowsy, what the f How do I not have a camera Pokemon yet? I don't really have anything more to say. I just think... What about its typing? Name! Abilities! Who needs those when I have a keychain? Oh yeah, fire water type. That's not, you know, Volcanion. I really don't care. Just anything besides fucking Volcanion will do. I really don't like Volcanion. How about a Pokemon that switches between ghost and normal? Or even just a straight up ghost normal type? Wouldn't that be fun? Probably call it the fan Tommy Fan Tommy Yes Finally the most intense carefully crafted Pokemon of this entire list the number one Pokemon that I would love to see is a god of war Like how Palkia and Dialga are gods of time and space Imagine how cool that would be! Pokemon actually has some really big plot points about war, so imagine the, the Pokemon that had caused all of that destruction. That would be pretty fucking cool, if you ask me. Pokemon has so many options for absolutely amazing Pokemon ideas, like the one I've got in this Pokeball! Oh. 